Hey guys, so recently Nicole by OPI sent me a bunch of polishes. I was so excited. A because they arrived for my birthday and B because I didn't have a lot of their polishes before. Polishes in New Zealand are expensive in general. Um, and OPI was like $27 in Farmers a few months ago but it's gone right down to $20. And now Nicole by OPI has been released in Countdown for $14, which is freaking amazing. Um, and it's often on special for 10, so it's really cool to get a really great brand polish that cheap. So here it is. Um, anyway, the ones they sent me were Party Bus, which is so sparkly and pretty. Anise Treat, it's from the Gumdrops collection. Um, I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. And also it's got this like matte finish. Please Red Cycle, it's a really, really good opaque color that one. Carried Away, I love this one because I really needed a new gold. Um, and it's from the Carrie Underwood collection and I'm a huge fan, so that was pretty cool for me. Sheer Fun, which is really good for French manicures. It's a very, very sheer um, pinky peach color. Um, and I've used it as a base in my manicure today. This one's called Oh That's Just Grape, and I really, really like this one. It's a really cool colour, very normal, awesome, mid purple. City Pretty Rose, which is a really, really cool, bright pink. And lastly, this is Daffy Dill. Daffy Dill, not Daffo Dill. Um, and it's really, really cool. It's actually always catching my eye. I tend to reach for this one before any of the others, so. So I hope you like this video and if you do please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Start off with a couple of coats of sheer fun. I thought I'd do a little comparison of Nicole by OPI's brush compared to normal OPI. Um, so this one's Nicole by OPI and here we have both of them. The normal OPI's brush is definitely a bit wider but I actually prefer them slightly smaller because some people have really small nails and it's hard to paint them if the brush is too wide. Here's what my nails look like after two coats. For the nail art for this design, I'm going to be placing drops on this stainless steel palette I got from Born Pretty Store. I'll link to it down below, it's actually really helpful. As the base colour is quite sheer in this design, I'm going to want to make sure I cover up my whites. So I'm basically making three triangles, making sure none of them dip below the whites and then just filling them in. And then do the same on all the other nails in mixed colours. Add a second coat and they'll be looking pretty opaque. To be honest I really like them at this stage and you could probably leave them as they are and call them eggshell nails or something. But I decided I'll keep going and this is what I did next. For the medium length striker brush I painted on some pink polish in zigzags just above the other design. I went over it again and made it a bit thicker and chunkier which I thought just matched the whole design a bit better. Do this on every nail. The rest of it's really just playing around with what you think looks cool. I added in heaps of zigzags with the green, the pink, the red and the purple and just made sure that the base colour did still show because this kind of negative space look looks pretty cool. In saying that, there's absolutely no rules and I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Remember you can tag me on Instagram at nz to show me your recreations. Once you're finished with your design, just clean up around the outside with a brush dipped in nail polish remover. Then apply a top coat. And you're done! If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll be back next week with a new video.